everyone and welcome back to another session with Vaduce on the Paintology drawing app available from Google Play Store. So let's uh, have a look back uh, to some of the drawings, the live session which I started a couple of weeks ago and I've been seeing a lot of interest from users who like uh, some of the drawings that I do in the live sessions. And these drawings <coughs> appear to be complicated and like a marvelous work of art, but in reality, it's actually a lot easier than you think. So this was one of the uh, live sessions I did on the uh, actual Paintology channel, which you can uh, check out and, uh, and, and, uh, and see so many similar videos and sessions that are going on there. And as you can see, it's actually all about appreciating tones. And I talk a lot about that when it comes to digital drawing on the phone. And as you know, most of my drawings have been done uh, simply with this, this uh, uh, phone of mine. Samsung Galaxy Note and my finger and the Paintology app you can see here and it was an example of a live session of a cat that I, I did uh, a week ago so this is how it's uh, and this this is the actual savings where you save the drawings okay so all the drawings are saved here so you don't have to sit down and finish one drawing in one go you can uh, do a drawing and then save it difference with this this particular drawing app compared to others quite a lot of differences actually whereas a lot of the other apps push for tools and it has made a lot of users tools focused you know like uh, they need to have this tool if they don't have this tool you know they're not going to go for it that and that's like that's pretty much a beginner's talk and you really should not fall into that trap i mean otherwise you'd be scratching your head thinking how did i do this with one brush would you believe yeah and that's and i didn't use i use i first started off using a line tool to demonstrate how to draw an outline from the actual trace drawing here i'll show you here yeah, i did an outline first and then i kept on developing the techniques of block coloring then i kept going to the final time where i started refining the tones and my and it i became more tuned to the tones of the actual original image which i will show you let's have a look here this way down here. This is the actual image you can see here of the hand. So you can see I was using that as a form of getting the tones. And a lot of people don't know you can draw like this. And a lot of uh, digital artists think you need all the sophisticated tools of a graphics tablet. And all. Yeah, of course you can go by that route if you're interested in vector illustrations anime which are really ideal for those type of tools because because they are they're they're tool dependent and with this kind of drawing that i'm showing you you would probably heard of the term fine arts so this is where it comes from fine art Fine art is what the uh, traditional artists draw with a simple pencil and paper and they can push their pencil to make drawings. And the reason they can the reason they can have be given a pencil and paper, let's say to a, a good artist, well, I wouldn't say good, because a beginner artist, I wouldn't say they're bad. I would never you coin that term, I would say that they're inexperienced. So the reason why the artist is actually a lot makes a lot of impressive drawings is because 
they learn techniques and that's just with pencil and paper and unfortunately the sad thing is that you don't have the same mindset when it comes to digital you're just looking for one tool after another to do what the has been done manually in the traditional world and if you draw like the way i'm showing you it is exceptionally faster than digital drawing with the tools i guarantee that okay i mean maybe for anime some some of you guys will be quicker but i'm not interested in so much i come from a traditional background and i want to encourage everyone to develop those techniques that have been around for centuries and instill it into this paintology drawing app so how do i do that well firstly this is the home page so if you're not sure how to get the paintology app i will show you this right now play store this is the play store then simply search for paintology app or just paintology and you'll see here that's the app paintology paint draw and learn and you'll see a description of it and you'll see these drawings here which have been around so it's actually gone now it was like 4.3 i think it's due to one particular user who made a remark saying don't bother i think or something like that which is a little sad when people make reviews like that but anyway the point is you know don't judge a book by its cover just like this say you know try and get into it understand it if you want to draw and you want to you want a quick fix then uh, you know you're probably better off with just diving into the tools and just getting on with it but if you really want to learn the techniques of drawing which makes you far capable in the, in your drawing ability i'll show you some of the drawings then you really need my artworks where are they? Oh, there it is. you really need um, to draw like the way i'm showing you techniques this one is a freehand drawing of brad pitt not on the phone it was on the galaxy tablet 10 inch tablet using um so i did a freehand of uh, brad pitt here which looks realistic photorealism and then these are all done on the phones as you can see this is all done on the phone i was experimenting with abstract colors and then so you can see i'm very fond of landscape this one was a a demonstration on the live session so you can see the live session on that and you can check it out and then this one was again fingers uh drawing with block coloring so it's a technique anyway again techniques are there to make your drawings look like traditional there's been very rarely anyone can tell my drawings have been done with digital whereas you can look at a piece of work digital artwork and you can almost distinctly say it's made it's made to look it's originated from digital this you can't really do that because i start everything from simply with the hand i have developed the techniques so uh, that's one and it's another one block coloring a bird on a twig very easy to do this one is simply easy to do as well here's the paint by numbers here's the one which i'm going to try and show you as an example of how to make this drawing this this was done in a matter of coloring was done in a matter of 15 20 minutes yeah so there's a line drawing here for you again and then here 10 minutes drawing no no biggie very quick if you know how to do it this was another realistic a drawing that i did photorealistic on the, on this phone actually 
And again, it's so much fun. And how long did that take me? Uh, perhaps close to ooh, three hours, maybe three and a half hours. And then there's so many more. I did one a replica of uh, the girl with the pearl earrings here in block color. Red. This one was done by freehand on my Galaxy tablet. You can see here, so much fun when you do, don't have to keep diving into tools and think about how you're going to do that next. One brush, two brush, using the manual way. The reason I can get such depth and volume is because I have developed the techniques I know tones. And tones are easily achieved through uh, so many more examples. So I typically do two, three drawings a day. Here's one with block coloring. So tones are <clears throat> the key elements of good drawing. And I'm going to show you what tones mean. Let's take a brush. Um, before I go to tutorials where you learn and develop these techniques here, these are so many tutorials. There's like 700 of these tutorials divided into specific drawing categories. So I'm not teaching you how to use a tool. My focus is not teaching you the tools. It's to teach you the techniques from the essence of drawing. As you keep drawing, you develop techniques. And the reason artists in tradition are far superior to others and leave them standing is because they know techniques they develop from a simple piece, pencil and paper, and the same applies to digital. So let me show you uh, what I was going to say about, <coughs> excuse me, the, uh, the, how do you do it with such, uh, you know, let me, the, to get the tones. Well, if you know what tones are, it's the, it's, for example, I'll show you, let's pick a, a blue tone here. Now, now look at this, let me push that aside. Look at this, the, the tone values there, can you see it? They all change, they get saturated, look, the colors. So you could, you could simply get all the tones of the blue here, look, see? There. That's how you achieve tones the tones, yeah, you see, see that color, the same family of colors, the blue, and then, it, and that's how it's organized, look, it's almost dark there, isn't it, dark here, but, but your eyes can be easily fooled with the, how dark that is, so let's go here, it's gone too red, sorry about that, but anyway, that's the tone, and now, the, the real power comes in the color picker, right? I'm going to select the color picker, clear the previous palette. Let's just select it. And then, see, I got the blue. And then I'm going to select the color picker, and I got the gray. Picked out the gray. Blue, black, here. Yeah. And then this color, I can, I can select the color picker, press my fingers, and I got this color. This this is not two, three clicks that you find in apps. I don't know, for heaven's sakes, so apps are like designed to click through, click, 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 press, press, press. That is just reducing the time it takes. Do you think I could draw photorealism? You saw the Neil Armstrong photorealism. How long did it take me? Four, less than four hours and three sittings. That is all, yeah? So I just want to tell you that that the techniques of digital drawing doesn't have to be different to traditional but it's been made that way because the digital evolution digital drawing evolved from when the computers came about and then the internet web was huge the internet became huge and people needed web graphics Website, online graphics, you name it, brochures that look perfect. And, and then there were a lot of illustrators 
an artist in the digital regime. And now that we have phones and tablet, it certainly makes common sense that, you know, they should, digital art can migrate to that. But the sad fact is it's lost its essence of drawing, which is done through traditional. So this is, this is how you pick tones. So color picker, turn. And then if I wanted the color of that blue tone, and that makes it really rapid and fast. Believe me, that's the reason why I can draw faster and for a particular drawing and I can, and my drawing doesn't have to be, you know, can make it look 3D. So this in essence is the key to terms. And so what do you do? I mean, to uh, develop these techniques. Well, techniques, as you know, are form, shape, tones, volume, depth, and uh, you name it. Everything that is fundamentally is the fundamental teachings of art been taught in traditional and you may think it does not apply to digital you're completely wrong otherwise i wouldn't be able to produce all the drawings you have seen on my phone yeah most people will not even contemplate doing any digital art on the phone and i don't want to say i create digital art. i just create art on the phone using freehand drawing that's simply that I'm not using any major tools, although it has tools to help you, but it has essential tools to help you in the right path. So let's look at some of the tutorials. There is paint by numbers tutorials, right? So each of these tutorials are organized. Can you see that pizza joy? Each of these tutorials are organized to help you, and they're all freely available once you've installed the app to help you develop those skills, techniques. If you think you don't need to develop skills, you just need to learn tools. It's a sad reality of life, but a majority of people will come to this app, scratch their head thinking, how, how are these drawings done? It wasn't done through tools, and it was done through developing the techniques, and I have made rapid progress, and I continue to make rapid progress because I am using less tools and more techniques so remember that techniques so to, to do that let's say you're the beginner you come here you select eight. Oh yeah i was going to show you the brush and how to achieve the tones with the brush you saw the color palette i pulled up but there is another way to achieve tones as well which i have shown you in live sessions but but you need to really follow this carefully, follow the whole. I mean, I'm prepared to give you a whole training program. Obviously, it's, uh, it's just effort on my part, but I want people. So you may ask me, why do I do this? You know, everyone has an agenda you know, of some kind. Why are you providing this free? I've, I want people to use the app to develop art techniques, digital art, not digital art, art techniques. And I want people to do to do more creative stuff. It's that's one of my biggest agenda is to you know they're glued with the social media, but <clears throat> something like this is creative, and it you get lost in the moment when you draw. Even when I'm drawing now, and I draw, try and draw as much as I could, I still get such a reward and satisfaction and I'm sure you you are also you also strive for that because you see other artists uh, gleefully creating their own artworks yeah so there let's have a look at this and uh, let me show you you see you can adjust the brush size yeah look see and then what is this doing right I'm going through this and just doing it rapidly you don't have to be really really like glued into doing it exactly right this if you look at this this is very simply like the real thing paint by brush isn't it paint by numbers and then here so you can do that and then let's say uh, here these simple edges what are these edges here yeah. they're three okay so this is a dark edge so 
to get that dark edge, it's too too thick. But you could use that if you want to really speed along, right? But let's reduce it a bit, okay? Yeah. Let's reduce a bit. And then you've got the zoom function. Why is the phone allows me to make photorealistic? You know, you may not believe it. You should now easily pick up on why I'm able to make it photorealistic. Look at the zoom, 640%. Do you know what that relates to? That relates to a canvas, which is potentially, I haven't measured it or accurately worked it out, potentially A3 canvas, and then A4. You know what A4 size is or letter size if you're in the US and uh, A4 in the UK. That's the equivalent of a large letter, you know, a standard size that most people would draw with. So, the phone, even with this diminutive size, is actually a lot more bigger than you think. So I'm gonna kind of reduce it even further. Look at that. Right, and then and then work out the see, draw quickly and draw quickly. You get used to this. And what is this improving? You're drawing strokes. Yep, you've got it. It helps you with refining your strokes when you come to do. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, so you keep doing that very quickly. And it's so much super fun, paint by numbers. And it's actually, you know, my, my artwork, I was quite good as a young kid when I was drawing. And then the drawing remained dormant for a good number of years. And then it was only through paint by numbers that I got into art again. And then I drew a lot of traditional charcoal and I really got into it. And then, uh, and then I discovered digital and then I just transferred my techniques and techniques that, I, that I'd like to teach you so you can enjoy drawing the real essence of drawing. Let's go to one. And then you see the brush size is small, so we can expand that. Fill a large bulk of the area, okay? And then zoom in. And take it down even more, and then just go around the edges. All right, nicely done. And you improve the strokes. Nicely done. See? You've got this rotation and zoom, which is, makes it so powerful. Have you seen people, when they use a pencil and paper, they're rotating the paper, moving their arm, moving their arms all, you know, in weird contorted shapes. With this, the phone, you can do this, and it's sitting, I'm sitting in an armchair, just simply doing this. That's why you can draw so much more powerfully, and I've overtaken my traditional abilities in drawing with digital so you can save this like here so you can save and then it gets saved and there's another thing i want to show you is that this particular tutorial has a, a video associated with it and the way you can tell is because it's got a logo can you see it on the top right next to the color picker and the other this one here yeah? this one is actually switching the modes I don't have time probably to explain this today, but you can figure it out. This one, yep, it toggles between the video, and, and you can you see it's showing you. Day with exciting and it's see, yeah. so I'm doing it, showing it to you, and it's just a process that I'm using. And I did this really quickly. I remember while I'm recording this video. And then you can follow along to it, and then you can switch. So you can switch between the video and then come back to your canvas, yeah? So this is what the tutorial's about. And then you have pencil drawings, right? Pencil drawings are actually primarily done with the uh, shade brush. Let's take a look at this face shading, yeah? Here, see, it's got that video icon next to it. This here, it means that it has a video associated with it. 
And again, this will show, go through the intro, you know, you will and be then, be able to better judge and then it will show you the actual drawing with the shade. You can see here, I'm using the sh grayscale mode and the shade brush. All this nose lips were done with the shade, right? These are techniques that you need to learn. First of all, I'm trying to take out the, you know, because I, I took the lips, nose and the eyes that I drew and then put them on the oval shaped face and then started doing the other. And then I'm going to show you quickly what the shade does, right? Let me go back to the canvas, close, right here. So I use that as an example, look, it's a line, shade. Okay, so here I've got, the, and then the grayscale, I'm going to switch to grayscale. You can see how the uh, color palette changed to grayscale? All right, so here, look, look, this is where your tones, and uh, this is what allows me to build these, these, um, you know, realistic type drawings. Is that, look, let's say, for example, I want to blend this. I mean, digital art, other male artists who are on the other apps will be thinking, oh, what tool is going to help me do that? Oh, you don't need to do that. You can do it by hand. And that's the power of the doing by hand, I'll show you. Let's say I've, I have it, I've have the, I'm going to have a tone. The shade brush is much like the pencil. Look at that. See that? That. It's much like the pencil, and then you can take the tones down, tone it. You can see it. Right? Look, it's too obviously it's too too dark here, yeah? but I just want to show you. This is how I do the whole entire drawing. Let's go here. Look, I'm already putting a tone on the forehead, and I could just increase the brush and just fill with bit of depth of the forehead there. there and then bring it down the nose here yeah? because we know the nose has a little bit of that nice little and then just take that away eyes here yeah? that's it right and I haven't changed then I can change the tones you can see See where where the shading needs to go. Very quick. Very quick here. Can see? That's all it is. No, no tool, just the shade. Look, and then just really make it. Learn taking those lines out, and then you know that the face has these subtle tones that you can go into detail. To take a smaller brush, go into detail, and then say, well, we know that it has a dark tone underneath this, usually under the chin, and then uh, uh, right, can you see that? That's all it takes, and that technique, so the shade brush is a really nice brush for doing this so uh, you can now what is this hardness setting well hardness setting is actually quite interesting let me show you how the hardness setting works let's say i have it at seven percent right look at that yeah so it works in conjunction of the light and dark shade right if i keep doing this i'm not going to get anywhere lighter than where this yellow bar is. If I go all the way here, look, there you see? Look, that is all that is needed to create photorealistic drawings. And I've created quite a number of photorealistic drawings with a lot of rap rapid speed in that, okay? So that's what we have here. And then you can go here. And then I wanna show you, so, there are so many here. I mean, if you're beginning, you could even uh, try out these connect the dots as well, right? If you're uncomfortable, just try out this, follow this number, use the line brush, okay? Shade line. OK, 
Okay, and then uh, just simply go pick a nice the size that matches. Okay, very easy. Connected dots. Yeah, where do we start? One. I should have a should tell you where it starts, isn't it? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, one. Where is it? Okay, maybe what I'll do is. Just go from 29, 30, 31, 32, 4, 39, 40, and then 41. So you don't have to start from. And then you can go work your way back one, two, yeah, three, four. Oh yeah, it's shown you all this twenty-two, then twenty-three, four, five, twenty-nine, thirty. And then you can keep drawing this, and then uh, hopefully you'll get a nice drawing out of that. So it's very, it's like the traditional connect the dots, and those are the very thing that you don't put them down has developed techniques yeah so these are the very things that develops your techniques of drawing and then there's so many help guide here what's new traditional medium that i've done talks about a lot of things and a lot of other techniques like the absolute beginners will be a collection of drawing that you can do and follow the 10 minutes of drawing here and then there's many aspects of drawing. And then there are trace drawing, which is where you can actually load the image. And that's the essence of block coloring. You load the image, any image you prefer, and then just draw over it. It's really powerful. Trust me, the trace method of drawing, if you're a <clears throat> beginning, intermediate, advanced, I use it all the time. It doesn't matter. It just propels your skill level to another stratosphere i'm telling you that so don't listen to the naysayers oh you gotta draw from imagination and you have to draw without any help or guidance come on oh come on give me a break i mean there's a lot the greatest artists in the world always seek out tools to help them develop their skills further and way beyond what people can possibly imagine. And that's where the um, some of the tools, the tools to develop techniques, I'm not saying tools to draw as such, but develop the actual techniques, which is the essence of why I'm able to draw like this. So let's um, go back. So these are the tutorials, quite a lot of tutorials organized, and it's your job to to find out what you like because you should cater your drawing pace well the drawing to the level that you are comfortable with and you will find that as you keep doing that <clears throat> you'll be developing techniques that you're not aware of and that helps you to get to the just to, to, to a level where i am and then go way beyond that so that's the uh the tutorials and then there's something, another interesting area, which is the video guides, which are basic essential guides to get you going really quickly, okay? So that is to help you to, like for example, this digital finger drawing is something which I did. Again, it's got a but canvas, so you can see the tutorial. Oops. You can see the tutorial how I did that, and then you can see I've got the trace bar over there. Yeah, see the uh, trace bar that allows me to pick out colors and do it. And so I'm just using my fingers, so you don't need a stylus or any sophisticated equipment. This was done in what 20 minutes or less. So there, there you have it. I just wanted to show you, I could go through a particular drawing, 
but uh, I'd much rather show you this and there's a there's line drawings that you can do I can show you the one that I did in a live session yeah can you see that line drawing that was done they didn't it didn't have some particular scenes which I added afterwards so that was a line drawing I did and then so many methods of drawing which will help you so don't think uh, here was the uh, this one I did on my fingers I really like this one real vibrant image here yeah. okay that, let me go look at that again this one I'm particularly fond of here because I love landscapes as you can imagine this one I used to block coloring and then what happens is as you do the block coloring your creativity and intuition kicks in and then I did away without the reference image and just worked and looked at the reference image for occasional times to create this the uh, contrast high, this is a vivid high contrast image done with block coloring you can see here the paintwork sends it yeah so it's just like traditional nothing different and so it's traditional in the dig digital and so if you've fond of pencil drawing and uh, drawing like this which is landscape is one of the most essential i mean the most popular subjects you know like my you can draw make drawings like this this one i would say took me um so i did this in a live session took me an hour or so to do the drawing and then i spent another 40 minutes you know just uh well, I had a spare time while I was in the car dropping off someone and waiting for 15 minutes. So I kept dabbing away at it uh, using block coloring and then and then switching between the the reference image and my drawing to make this. And then every spare time I had, I just kept at it until I finally got to this, which amounted to like maybe one and a half hours in total. So. That's a drawing I did, and, you know, you're, you get, you become, don't get too attached to the drawings, because you can make so many drawings. Here's the one I did in a live session of a vintage car, yeah, very simple and easy. Again, the reason I picked this was the tones. The tones are what makes something add volume and detail and give it shape and form, yeah. So this is, and then now you have, so this paintology has been designed with, with teaching you techniques. So if you're coming here looking for the tools, layers, everything else, you know, the shape, fill tools and everything, you know, you will probably, you probably have to look elsewhere because it's designed to teach you techniques and transition a lot of the love and enjoyment of traditional drawing and painting into the digital medium. So I hope this was helpful to you. And this app again can be downloaded from the um, Play Store. Okay, and here let me have a look from the Play Store. So just type in Paintology app and you'll see it here. And then you can load it here okay there so and then if you want to read more of my active quora platform i have this here and then i must have answered how many i don't know it's uh probably uh about one thousand <coughs> three one thousand three answers on the area of drawing and also a lot of the examples of drawings I do, I put in here. You can see here lots of drawings that I do with the app. And usually on the phone and now I'm beginning to enjoy drawing with my fingers. So you can read all about that and learn a lot. Hopefully the whole idea is to learn, you know, and uh, not be left to your own devices. I mean, there's nothing interesting about opening up an app and seeing a blank canvas and start doodling but you're inspired by how this got there but that 
how others got there is not a gray area anymore. I, I am teaching you those techniques, which goes beyond what is able is done routinely with other apps. It's teaching you essential drawing techniques and fundamentals. So this was a creative one I did. I used a reference image, but then I had a competition with my daughter and I said, let's actually turn this to a creative piece of work. It was actually a landscape we found and it had tree lines on it. And then I said, okay, I'm feeling volcanic eruptions here. So I just kept on it at it and then, and then ended up with this. So you can be as creative as you want once you have the techniques and you'll find your drawing skills improve as you practice those tutorials I've shown you, you know, and then uh, don't expect miracles in the beginning. Work your way through it. Enjoy the experience. I'm not going to say to you, do a drilling of three, four hours and then do the shading exercise, do this. Yeah, that's that doesn't always feel right. It doesn't inspire you. But hopefully you can do some of the tutorials and match it to your progress and then work your way up and then and then be able to draw uh, to the things that I draw and go beyond it. Well, you know, that's uh, up to you. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, I will look forward to doing another session with you perhaps tomorrow and please check out both channels, YouTube, uh, the Produce channel which is my personal channel and the Paintology channel and uh, and you can check out the videos, I vary it from one to another. I don't usually do the same, I put one video on that one or the other and uh, and then if you have any suggestion comments please do make comments i haven't i don't receive that many comments because you're probably still scratching your head thinking how all this works or comes together and i'm very happy to answer your questions and you can go to my quora platform and the paintology.quora.com or or as i've shown you produce uh, this one here you can see all the links in the descriptions of my videos to get to these um, resources so happy painting and drawing and i look forward to seeing you another time thank you bye bye